back to the channel it's time to get into our creation suite series man this is a video i'm going to be uploading every single monday we're going to be covering some of the community creations as well as some of my own personal creations in this video we're starting off with my own championship title you guys are going to be able to go ahead and download it by the end of this video the title will be uploaded for you to grab and use it in your universe or exhibition matches now this title we're working on right now we're going to be doing two of them uh these are going to be for lwf if you don't know about lwf that's our wwe 2k league you can join via the description box where we have our discord link for you to sign up read the rules and regulation in the lwf banner and uh you know we'll have some fun with that but here we go without further ado let's just create jump into the fun and i'm gonna walk you through my mindset when i'm creating a championship so i always go to base settings and start with a template right to get some inspiration from the original belts that are in the game once i narrow down which belt I would like to use as a base I start to you know switch around the plates or the design and I kind of go with the flow after that you know it's whatever inspires me in the heat of the moment I don't really map out everything prior I have a good idea in my head of what I'm looking for but I'm not necessarily fixed on an, just one version of that title and that's it this is nostalgic we're going with the base plate from the attitude era and we're going with the side plates from the you know the more modern john cena era let's focus on the strap first since this is on playstation we put the blue here but let's make it brighter there so it sticks out we'll go with leather on this one we're gonna go with leather that looks pretty dope so we're gonna do it like that and then we're gonna we're gonna kind of emboss it a little bit you got it embossed into the leather it's it's sticking out but not really you got a little bit of blue for playstation i like it i like it i like it put we'll put that blue for playstation and then the gold i want to change it to like a little more hardcore gold Maybe I go a little this way. Yeah, just to make it a little more goldish, right? All right, so you see you see my crazy now. You guys got a better idea of what I'm going for. We got a little blue mixed in for PlayStation. We got the, the darker gold. See, I don't like this steel, though. For I like it better like this. I'm going to keep it regular for that. And then I'll probably change the blue to a little darker to match and the gold to match the, the actual belt. We got it done. Now they are both matching. Looks beautiful, in my opinion. Now for the center, for the center, I'm going to add the classic champion logo in the bottom. All right, so now we got to get creative with the rest of the belt. Oh, for the powerhouse champion, the powerhouse champion. This is it right here. I just think it looks real cool, you know? It, it doesn't have to look exactly like a, an actual title. It's you, you take inspiration from an actual title, and then you do your own twist to it, you know? That's really what we're going for. And I don't think I'm going to add the LWF logo because I already have it on the strap. It's already on the strap everywhere. Let me see something, actually. Oop. Yeah, I could do two of these. That looks real dope. ladies and gentlemen this is the end result here the powerhouse light heavyweight champion is here what a beautiful belt in my opinion 
I kept the LWF logo on the strap. I chose to not put it on the actual belt like the plate itself did not need it. It's already overwhelming as is on the strap, but we're trying to make this unique. We're, we want it to stand out from season one and other titles that we're used to seeing in general. So lots of blue to emphasize on PlayStation, but if you want to change those colors around, feel free to download the title, switch it to whatever you want. But the official belt for LWF, the main title over on the PlayStation platform, is the Powerhouse Light Heavyweight Championship. And I, I just love how the how messy the text looks up top. It's supposed to look like kind of written by hand. And you have the nice finish for the gold plate with the horses on each side, kind of assisting the champion in the middle, holding up the world. And then you have the whole globe on the left represented as well as on the right with North America, as you see, represented down in the middle. So this is amazing. I think it came out awesome. I want to know what your opinion is. Are you going to be downloading it? We ended up adding the nice diamonds on each side, and I made the diamonds the same color as the gold that you guys are used to seeing around the rest of the belt because i didn't want to add a bunch of different colors it's supposed to look prestigious it's supposed to look legit in case you guys forgot we do have the ring general title up for download right now this is one of our mid card titles over on xbox and this one's already available this is the playstation international championship this one i went a little crazy with the crocodile skin there and I wanted to put the, the gold plate a little more yellow with silver to represent the mid card. So there you have it, folks. We have the Powerhouse Championship title and all its glory ready for download. We also have the LWF Arena for Clash of Titans and Mayhem. And you can add this to your universe or to Monday Night Raw, SmackDown, WCW, ECW, whatever you want. Use it. Let me know how you're going to be using these creations. What are you going to tweak? What are you going to change? I'm bringing you guys some more creations next Monday where we're going to finish our Xbox main title and we're going to do a special uh, segment with Witty Witterson, one of our very own in our community that has done amazing things for the creation suite and everyone that loves to mod. We'll definitely be checking out what he's been up to. Until then, thank you for tuning in. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. <laughs>